Boom. So yeah, it's Monday. Uh, kind of, I've been having troubles with my iPhone lately, the charger. So trying to plug the lead in. You have to wiggle it about for ages to try and get it to start charging. And then you be very careful about where you set your phone because if you move it at all, it'll stop charging. So it'll come back like an hour later and it'll still be dead. So a friend of the weekend gave me a good idea uh, about to get the pin, the needle, and scraping out the charger port, getting out all the fluff. And I done that today. I got so much fluff out of it just from being inside my pockets all the time. And it seems to have like a tight connection again with the charger. So brilliant. Problem solved, no more low battery issues all the time. But about, I would say, three to four minutes after I had done this, I left the house, out to the car, jumped in, sat down, turned the car on, went to close the car door, and realized that the car door like bounced back open. It didn't close, as if something was in between the door and the car. Yeah, it was my phone completely wrecked it's not, I don't know if you can see the bend in it it's bent it and it's also like the, the rims coming away from the screen around here another one bites the dust and the best of it is all my insurance details for this phone are on the phone in my notes. Good one, Martin. So anyway, it's Monday. <laughs> Gonna get the shit done anyway. What am I gonna do today? I have to wait to go and test the drone with Ryan later on. I have to finalise music for Wayne's video, which is gonna be starting to be edited tonight. Emails and manufacturers, so I think everything they're sweet, they're sending across to products ahead of schedule for Sura and the rest of the batch will arrive for Irish Muscle Park to go on sale then. The one thing about the leggings is I did say the price wasn't going to change, I did say they were going to stay at £25 and unfortunately with the quality of material that I chose we're going to have to put the price up to maybe £30, you know £29.99 but because I did, it's because of the standard that they're at, they are like you're not going to find a better pair of leggings on the market for that money, I can guarantee that. But because I did say to you guys in Snapchat that I wasn't going to change the price of them, I will do an introductory offer. So at Ash Muscle Power, they will still be £25, even though they're fully upgraded. And also, maybe for the first month after that, I'll leave them at £25. So anybody that wants to get a pair, that did hear me say £25, can't get them at £25. After that, they'll have to go up the, the full price. But seriously, even at £30, they're worth it. At £25, they're a complete and utter bargain for the standard of legging and material and fit and everything you're getting. Also designed to look sick. The new sports bra, I haven't fully decided exactly on the price yet for that. I need to go over, I need to go over figures later on and decide what the cheapest I can give it to you guys for while still being able to turn a bit of a profit to move forward and design new clothes with and like pay for the expos and pay for the cool videos and stuff like that so like yeah you guys obviously know that it's a business so there does need to be a profit turning the items the way I'm trying to give you guys the best quality stuff for as little as possible because as far as if I go shopping I love getting the bargain I love getting something that is really, really nice fitted, really nice quality material and looks well. And I don't like paying over the odds for it. You, know, you can walk into some stores and pay like 80, 90 pounds for a plain white t-shirt. It's cotton. It's stitched together with thread. You know, where are you getting that, that outrageous price tag for? So yeah, that's what Monday is going to be. Oh. And it's also been charging for like 30 minutes now, and it won't turn on. Yeah, I think this is a goner. This has probably been the longest an iPhone has ever lasted me to. I think I've had this for a year and a half. Yeah, I've destroyed every iPhone I've ever got within months. This has done me well. It's not they will laugh. I closed it in the car door. Car, car door. I closed it in the car door. Car door. Car door. Oh, it's 
kind of cold in here today, and I'm wearing t-shirts and shorts. So I'm gonna fire on sweats. But the only ones I have are these, which is the ruined sample. I haven't actually showed you guys this yet. If you can see like the holes appearing here at the pockets, and also like there, are. I don't know if you can see that. It's basically where the back pockets were stitched on, it's uh, ripping away at the material. So these were supposed to be finished in here for our muscle power, and now they've been put on hold so we can fix the issue. I wanted, sorry, I wanted the same material, but the manufacturer sent in a sample with a different fabric for the entire sweats. I don't really know about it. I love this one. It's just the back pockets are ripping. I can't sell that. So. There's one of the shit things that I promised to show you guys about running the brand is that you can absolutely fall in love with something and then something like this happens. It's only happened with the back pockets, so like my idea was to take one off so as the issue wouldn't happen on one side, but I still need a back pocket for that side, and you can see my finger is actually coming through there. On there. Because we need our brand on the back. So, lots of shit. Looks like we won't be having any male sweats, or new male sweats, sorry, for our muscle power. It's only four weeks away. That's not going to get solved between now and then. But, I have no other sweats with me, so I'm going to have to wear these today. Luckily, I'm wearing black boxers, so hopefully you'll see like black through black and people won't notice. So yeah, the rest of the day, I'm going to be walking about with holes at my ass. So that's what it's like the runner runner brand. Your clothes with holes in them. <laughs> yep. You can't really tell. Well, not much. Uh, they'll do to keep me warm. Also I think one of the socks I'm wearing is actually my sister's. So that's pretty weird too. It's just gonna roll with it. Important to open this. Check it on the dock so you can hear it. Yeah, look at my back. So, right now, I'm way out to my friend Dora's business, uh, supply promotions. Dora does all like large, uh, large, large, what? Dora does all large format printing and uh, like graphic design and yes, any promotional events and customized clothing and stuff, you know, for like teamwork, all that carry on. Uh, Dorr's very good at what he does, he creates some really ridiculously high quality, high quality, I think I talk to them, high quality like end products. He done the banners for me on my wall for the expo last year, which was ridiculously high quality, I just didn't give him very good designs. So that was my bad on the actual look of it, but standard wise, he absolutely killed it. So we'll go ahead and see him this year with updated designs, updated booth, and we're going to talk and see what we can create to bring the best talent possible to our most part in four weeks. So we are pushing it pretty fine, but that's kind of how I run things at the minute. It's knocking things off as they come up. So yeah, it's all work, but it's enjoyable, it's fun. I get a buzz out of it, honestly do. So yeah, so I'm not going to show you guys too much. Because I want to leave the impact of the booth and the vision I have in my head of this stand for the actual day of the expo. And it's going to be insane. July 31st, Irish Muscle Power. If you haven't got your tickets, just Google Irish Muscle Power, get some, check it out. It's going to be awesome. I honestly can't wait just to see the difference from last year's event to this year's event. Not only for my actual stand, the progression of that, but also the progression of the event itself. This will be the third year it's running. And it's got bigger from year one to year two. It's going to get bigger again from year two to year three. And it's just about growing the fitness industry in Northern Ireland and making making people aware of how big we're getting and how inspirational it can be. And people's getting more and more involved with fitness, we're spreading the word about positivity and being healthy. And yeah, it's just it really is. It's, it's awesome to be a part of it. it. Really is. So yeah, I'm going to go see Dora right now. Get our heads down, get some stuff created, 
and I'll show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes, but I'm not going to show too much because, like I said, I want to leave the impact for the actual day of the expo. So we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Well, as I mentioned, I went out and seen Dora, and we talked about the expo and the stand. And he was saying that for the ideas I wanted to do, it would have cost far too much. And for the footfall of the actual event and stuff, it wouldn't have been a smart business decision. So we are rolling with the exact same design, we're just not implementing certain things into it. For example, I wanted things lit up and illuminated from behind with LEDs and stuff like that. And he says the cost to, to do them right would be too great at the moment. So we're not, we're not, we're not rolling them. And he says if you do them badly they'll, and cheaply, they'll just look bad and cheap. So I'd rather not do it at all and leave that for another time down the line. Whenever, whenever we're going to bigger events, like the likes of body porn stuff, like footfalls and 80,000, for that you don't really care what you spend on your stand because you need to stand out, you need to make an impact. But yeah, the stand is going to be good. I have to set up over all the specifications and the technical drones and shit tonight. And he's going to get back to me tomorrow with what we're moving forward with. I cannot wait. But right now, I'm making food. So I'm making turkey burgers. And by the way, I'm cooking these directly from frozen. These are the Carrigan's ones, the BK Flamers. Don't know if you can see. But I've been told by a few people that they just cook them on the grill straight from frozen. So if this is my last ever vlog, those people are wrong. I died from food poison. I do not cook them straight from frozen. If you see me again, cook them frozen, handy as fuck. So I told you guys to check in later, and it actually is later, it's 20 past 2 in the morning. I hope this camera's performing well in low light actually, because it's supposed to. But I was just editing all of today's vlog, except for this clip. And Final Cut Pro crashed, and I lost everything. <sighs> Fuck. My life. Also, I hope I don't run like a serial killer with this like low light on the laptop screen. I'm bound to look like freaky as fuck. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this vlog there. Tomorrow I'm gonna go to the gym with the camera. And of course I'm working for the tree guys. And uh yeah, I'm gonna cut this cut this vlog off before I say the sentence like four or five times. So peace out YouTube. A like and subscribe, I appreciate all the support.